Good morning, folks. It's Harry Swaminathan. Welcome. Happy Monday. I was out for the last two days of last week and I wanted to give a brief update on what happened with Apple. And I'm seeing that on my paper money account, I'm not able to go back. Let's see here. I wanted to go back. Yeah, this thing is grayed out. And I don't know if you guys are facing the same thing on Think or Swim. You can let me know. I'm not able to go back. So let me um, quickly provide what we did on Apple. Um, the 430, uh, I closed the 435, uh, 430 short call. And of course, that was a loss of about 500 or $600. But we had the long call at 435. And those long calls actually ended up making a lot of money by the end of uh, the day because Apple went up uh, past 440. So that actually recovered all of the losses on the short call and then we've recovered quite a bit on the um, on these long calls also which expire in 32 days uh, and today we can see apples up a little bit so we you know we can let this one run so net net i think we are even on apple on this apple trade at this point and uh, we'll see how far apple goes today apple is uh, up nicely so we can uh, uh, we can let it run now, the trade I wanted to look at today is um, one, the SPX straddle. And of course, we did the calendar also, which I closed. And, uh, you know, that was the problem. If you don't have time to monitor the calendar trade, uh, especially on the last day before expiry, then it's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new calendar trade. And this time it will be on the monthly series. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I want to show you something that's developing uh, in terms of a correlationship, and um, that is a little troubling because the VIX and the SPX are not um, correlating that they usually, uh, you know, like they usually would. So what I mean is this: today you can see the VIX is up almost two points. Um, we've got the VIX uh, up 1.89, and if you look at our straddle, the straddle is a double Vega positive trade. And you, if you look at the straddle, we've got $6,300 on Vega. So which means for, a, for an increase of 1.9, we should see uh, an increase of 12,600. Granted, it'll never be you know, exactly equal to that amount, but you can see our position is only up 1550 and I'm still trying to figure out why this is the case because the VIX has gone up by two whole points and our Vega is, uh, is uh, our Vega exposure is very high. In fact, we put the straddle on on that premise that if, if and when the volatility goes up, we're going to get a good bump up from Vega. But we don't see that happening right now. And some of the, you know, some of the reasons for this might be that the VIX and the SPX may be losing some of its correlationship uh, you know, like it normally does. And, and again, the reason for that could be that people are not really concerned about fear. So the demand for these put options uh, are not coming through. Uh, you know, that could be one. The other is there are also other instruments available now. You have the futures, you have the spiders, you have the uh, you know, the double uh, inverse uh, ETFs, you have the double uh, uh, straight uh, ETFs also. So all of these factors might be coming into play. Although it's too soon to say that this correlationship is breaking down, but I would certainly keep an eye out for this because this is a very important correlationship. And if, and if, that, if, if that doesn't work, then the trades uh, that you put on, uh, which are based on an increase in, in volatility, might get into trouble. So what we mean is that, you know, exactly this. Our, our position is up today by 1450, but just from Vega, we should be seeing a much, much higher number. And even if it's not 12,600, I, I would have expected it to at least see um, a $5,000 or a $6,000 increase, and that does not happen. So that's, a, you know, that's something that we'll have to watch out for. The other trade I wanted to uh, focus on is the price line. If you recall, price line, we had this nice bull call spread, which, which made a lot of money. And then we said we're going to protect it. And so we entered this bear call. Now, the bull call is up $1,000. The bear call is up $1,200.
So the bull call is has a profit of about a thousand dollars right now, and the bear call actually has thirteen hundred dollars. So totally, we have about twenty two seventy five. And so the uh, the premise of this trade was to capture this profit and get a little bit more. So I think uh, that's uh, that's that's already happened. So we can close out uh, the price line trade. I'm going to close out the price line trade. Um, on a couple of these other trades, we might want to uh, double down, especially on the Costco. The Costco trade is, uh, it, well, it, it, I don't think it's, we've reached the point of doubling down. So we can let it be for now and then see how it goes. But what we might want to do with the Apple now is not worry about these weekly uh, option trades to make up the money because we have done that. But what we can do is, um, is take a, a position uh, which would still optimize a bullish move, but at the same time, we, we are in an opportunity to uh, capitalize, at least recover a lot more of this price here. So what I mean is, let's go to Apple. And by the way, guys, I sent an email on these minis. Uh, the minis have started trading uh, today. So this is uh, going to be a good instrument for people uh, that have a smaller amount of shares. Um, for either for hedging or for trading purposes. So we're looking at the April, uh, the April series, 32 days. So now we're entering you know, the final 30 days. So you don't want to leave a long option out there because it's going to lose a lot of uh, uh, its value uh, because of time decay. So rather than lose that, what we can do is, let me put up a few more strikes. And you can see that the 505 call is going for about 1.8 something. So we can turn this now into a bull call spread. So what I mean is we can, we have 20 contracts uh, of the um, 500 call and I'm going to sell 20 of the 505 and we're going to receive 1.80 for that. So you can see that we've already recovered quite a, you know, almost all of the Apple trades from long before. And now we are going to add an additional 1.78 to this trade and with no real risk because, you know, the, we have a long call at 500. Now all we are doing is we are turning it into a bull call spread uh, for the 32 days. So this is a good trade right now. We can get most of our money back. And that's what I'm going to put today. We'll put it at 1.8 or 1.79 and uh, turn it into a bull call. And that got filled. So now on Apple, we have a bull call spread. There is no risk now. We would have recovered 3,600 more. So potentially, even if both of these expire worthless, uh, we would have a, a huge profit because uh, we, would, we would end up in a profit of about maybe $2,000 uh, because of all the adjustments that we've done before. But now we don't need to worry about this trade. We're just going to let it uh, slide for the next uh, few weeks. So that's where it stands and you can see that the SPX is um, still not uh, behaving properly. Uh, the VIX is up 1.75 but we are not showing that kind of a profit on our uh, SPX straddle. So this is something we'll have to watch for and see what's going on. I'll try to read up some more on it and uh, uh, see if other uh, big names are also following this phenomenon because it's very interesting and if there is something to it then we need to know because uh, most straddles are based on this premise that uh, it's a double vega positive trade and uh, you should get a big bump up when something like this happens today, but we are not seeing that. So it's something we'll need to watch. That's it for today. I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.